What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to The Bearded Gentleman. I'm your host Cody McCain and I got George back for another video. Um, we went half in on a sampler pack, a different sampler pack than the one that I previous made, previously made a video on. Um, so let me show you what we got in the, in the sampler pack. Um, I'll go over two of them, let George name two of them here. So the first one is this uh, Gispert by Fabrica de Tobaccos. We got a Casa de Garcia, Connecticut. What you got, George? I have the Don Diego. It's wrapped in, uh, got a little cedar wrapping on it. Uh, it's made from the Dominican Republic. And then we have over here the Henry Clay stock cut. Um, let's see. I cannot read that, unfortunately. But uh, those are the two I have. Sweet. So we got four different cigars in packs of five, so 20 total. And I think we spent, what, 30 bucks? Yeah. Yeah. Thirty dollars, twenty cigars, not bad, not bad, not JR, bad. JR, JR's uh, cigars. All right, there it is. So, I am going to smoke one of these Casa de Garcias, and I think you said you were going to smoke the Gaspert. Yeah. Go ahead and open those packs up and get these sticks out. So. Right off the bat, this Casa de Garcia is a nice, light Connecticut wrapper. Um, it's got a nice cap on it. It's a little rough looking. You know, a couple noticeable, noticeable veins. Um, but no rips, no tears, no holes, no nothing like that. So, not getting anything special just off of smelling the stick itself. On the guest bird, just a little one, one little vein, kind of um, by the by the by the tip over here. Uh, I was and just whispered to Cody, it's pretty much wrapped, covering up a big big chunk of it. I would say nice size of Churchill, nice length on the Churchill. And uh, nothing uh, too potent or terrible on the on the first initial smell. Um, probably gonna be a very mild, mild stick here. I guess I don't know if you I have smoked all of these before. Okay. Um, so uh, the reason we went double, we knew about this sampler is uh, my father went in and got the same sampler and I told Cody about it. I've actually had all of uh, these cigars and uh, hopefully me and Cody will come back and do another review on Henry Clay. That was my uh, favorite yeah, we'll stick. Both, we'll both sit down and smoke that one. That was my favorite stick out of the uh, out of the sampler. But uh, guess Burt, not bad either. Yeah, so this uh, Casa de Garcia is in Churchill size. Uh, 50 ring gauge, six and a half long. I'm gonna try and smoke this Casa de Garcia with a punch cut. I'm um, using the cigar bore that I've made a previous video on, if you wanna go check that out. These cigars are moist. Alright, so I'm starting a new cigar journal. If you've been on the channel for a while, you might have seen I had a smaller book um, that I used to write notes when I smoked cigars in and stuff like that. 
went ahead and upsized it and started a new one. So this Casa de Garcia, Connecticut is going to be the first one in it. And from the light, I'm not, it's, it's not blowing my socks off, but it's a good smoke so far just off the light. Not a whole lot of smoke output, but um, it does have some flavor in there. A little bit of earthiness. I'm going to let it develop before I give you any more notes on it, but that's what I'm getting off the, off the light with this stick here. Over here on the guest bird, got a nice solid light going, lit pretty nicely. Um, I don't think, like I said, the, uh, there's a stem that was pretty obvious by the, the tip, but it caused no problems so far. Ooh, got a little something there. there it is. Um, no, no notes developing quite yet. I mean, this is a pretty decent sized stick, so we'll see what happens, but, uh, As I said before, I've, I've had a chance to try all of these sticks. Uh, the Gisbert was probably my second favorite out of the pack. Um, as Cody said, most of these cigars are going to be a nice, mild bob blend. Um, I could say to so myself, this would probably be a great starter pack. For sure. I think this would be a great starter pack. Get you a chance to see, you know, couple different uh, styles, lengths, and uh, two different style Churchills. Um, also the draw, very nice, easy, smooth draw on both. I uh, did a guillotine, Cody did a uh, punch on his, but I think the smoke output is probably gonna be the same on both, even though I have a much wider opening than he does. We're both pairing these cigars, both of them, with uh, beer. I am drinking a Coors Banquet. I have um, a Coors Light, so shout out Coors. We'll see how this cigar is pairing with a, a little bit of a darker beer, like, like this Coors Banquet here, a little bit heavier. You went ahead and watched Cody's last review. Um, I mentioned how his palate is way more, I would say, advanced just in the in the notes. I'm trying to work on that myself, just as a regular day cigar smoker. And uh, it's probably if you hear us mumbling, just talking about the kind of notes I'm I'm, I'm picking up, because I haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what I'm I'm getting yet. So the guest bird cigar here is a uh, hand rolled cigar made uh, from Honduras. It features a Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper. The binder is a uh, Honduran, and the filler is Nicaraguan and Honduran. So they got a little blend there, nice little Central American uh, blend here. So to give you the Price on a Gesper here goes for about a pack of, for a five pack of these be about twenty four dollars. Meaning each stick goes for about four eighty, close to five probably with, with tax. Reasonable price cigar for I think yeah, the, very much for budget. The, yeah, everyday smoke price range on that one. Also, it's a uh, seven by 54. 54 is a pretty big ring size, but nice and fits well in the hand. And I mentioned they have a lot of uh, wrapping on it. Where they have uh, the, the logo, 
great place for the, the hand. That way you're not really touching the, the wrapper. Put your hands all on it. Very nice, nicely done. Stick here by them. So the price point on this Casa de Garcia is about $4.50 a stick. So at that price, it'd be a great everyday smoke. Um, going into some of the notes that I'm picking up here, in the first third, some of the stuff I have written down, it started off earthy, like I said. Um, and then there was like a toasted almond flavor with, it was just no salt or anything like that, just like a toasted almond. Um, and then also from there, I picked up a sweet chocolate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it milk chocolate. It's just a sweet, uh, not artificially sweet or anything like that, but just like a naturally sweet, like chocolate flavor. And those are like the big notes that I'm picking up right now. We'll see if I can get into some of the underlying notes uh, here shortly. But the first third, it's a good, easy, easy smoke. Could I mean, this would be a great everyday smoke in my opinion. At 450 a stick, you, you can't really beat it. So. When I first lit it, didn't have much, then it kind of just came like really kind of dark, not like a specific, just like dark kind of uh, heavy taste, but I don't know. I'm almost, I'd say, to about the wrapper. Not really. No, beginning third of, so. Yeah, that's still the first third for sure. It's kind of gone into a like nice cream, cream stick. Um, Nice and mild. This is really just a nice, just relaxing. Um, the environment we're in right now is a very hot, sticky environment, and the cigar is not overheating my mouth. I'm not getting any, you know, extra heat or anything from the cigar. Just nice, fluid, smooth, creamy stick right now. Give you a better again I'm trying here. Give you a better description. Like a like a creamy, maybe like like kind of coffee, not coffee, but like creamer you would probably use for like coffee. You know, a nice little. Okay. If you uh, pour a little too much cream in your coffee, you can get that like kind of flavor. You know, kind of caramelly, like it's a little, like light, not like overly mm -hmm. dark. Mm -hmm. It was like very, very smooth. Yeah, very smooth, like creamy. It's really nice, really nice. I think both of these, I haven't had that one yet, but I, I, from what it sounds like, both of these cigars are going to be very, very easy smokes. Uh, I said earlier, great daily smokes. Um, but going off of that, probably an even better first smoke. Yeah. If you... We're introducing somebody to cigars that, you know, was kind of hesitant on it because they thought it would be too, too strong or whatever. Like these, both of these sticks would probably be a perfect cigar to put in their hand um, for their first cigar. Like we've mentioned before in the previous review, me and Cody have been, we smoke pretty, I'd say, regularly together. Um, I've picked up a habit from smoking with this man. I am not much of a uh, asher on myself, uh, as you just saw. I don't know if you saw a quick reaction, but since smoking with Cody, I've learned to uh, really just admire a tightly rolled uh, ash burn. And I think it's very aesthetically pleasing when you just see how, like when you think about a cigar and you see how nicely, nice and packed filler to wrapper is, you wanna keep the ash going. You don't wanna prematurely ash it. Henceforth, you ash on yourself. So that is a habit that I have probably unfortunately picked up from the bearded gentleman. Um, 
it's okay, not the worst thing to happen. You have to see yourself just like I did. Flick it off, I'm not gonna burn you, and then continue your smoke. Kind of piggybacking off of what George just said. Um, the way I see it, as far as ashing a cigar, if you ash it too early, it's kind of a disrespect thing to the the people who rolled it and and anyone who had anything to do with this cigar before it got in your hand. It's kind of a disrespect thing, like in my mind. Not that I know these people or anything like that, but just to kind of put it in perspective on how I see it, it's like getting a steak at a restaurant and the chef coming over to your table and uh, you know asking you how your steak is and you say, oh, it's fantastic. And then you put ketchup all over what he made. It's kind of the same thing with me and cigars. Like I'm not, I don't like ashing them on purpose. I like to let the ash kind of naturally fall off. And when it falls, it falls. If it falls a quarter of an inch into the cigar, then I'm, I didn't do it. You know, I didn't make the cigar, but I let it do its own thing as I smoke. Kind of pick up new flavor here. It's no longer like a creamy, like kind of coffee creamy. I would say kind of earthy. Um, I looked at some reviews. It says it goes creamy to. <clears throat> there it goes. There's, there's Cody's ash. Creamy to like a cedar wood, but I'm not picking up on the on the cedar wood. I'm, I'm more or less just picking up on like a, a big change to more of a earth vibe. Um, no longer creamy, which. It's not a problem with me. Um, as I said, I'm trying to pick up on more notes now that I, I kind of smoke more regularly. But um, I'll let you know if it, it, it develops like kind of the cream did. I could I could picture up the cream. So I'll let you know about that. So I'll go back to the ash because I guess that could be like a big talking point on this review. Yep. Um, when I first started smoking. The ash was like kind of a scary thing because you know, young in the smoking, not sure how to ash or what to ash. Um, and watching my father smoke a couple, there's, I'd say the ash is now to me aesthetically pleasing. But before, when I was a beginner smoker, the uh, once you ash and then you, you take a puff, the cherry when you, when you get it, the cherry at the end, and you get a nice like red cherry, nice good cone on the end of the ash. I would say that was my first big pleasure into smoking a cigar. You get a nice red cherry on the end. Um, I would be lying if I said I have not been, I've been burned by a couple cherries on accident, but uh, just not knowing what, uh, when I was a kid, not knowing what hand the cigar was in my father and just going to go grab it and here and there. But uh, I guess as you go, older you know your things change and to me now keeping a long ash is uh, something that just looks good and is a very nice you know compliment i would say as cody says i i don't know who made the cigar i don't know who rolled it but nice compliment to the people that made these cigars knowing that they they make quality you know it goes back to the quality of the stick most definitely it's they're cheap cheap sticks but they're not poor quality sticks. There is a difference. You can have an expensive stick that's low quality. Price doesn't always match quality. That's just that's just the reality of it. Um, but going back to the ash thing, not only does ash look good, um, is it kind of a sign of respect that I as a smoker show the the people who rolled it, um, but it actually does serve a purpose. Um, that that ash <clears throat> creates a cooler smoke for you as you're drawing on the cigar. Um, it acts as a filter to cool that air down before and cool the smoke down before it gets in your mouth. So there is a purpose behind keeping the ash 
as well as the respect aspect of it and the aesthetic. So I think the last flavor notes that I, I expressed that I tasted to y'all, um, it was it stopped on milk chocolate. It has developed from that point. I'd say I'm getting into the second, the second third here, and I picked up a nice leather note, and also a very, very smooth cream note. Not, it, it wasn't a coffee creamer note, anything like that. It was just a, just kind of like a vanilla cream is what it was. Just very, very smooth vanilla cream and leather. That's what I'm getting here. Um, the biggest notes here in the second third as I'm working my way through this stick. I kind of had a, a taste as I grabbed the wheel. I have to go grab the wheel, try and define it. I didn't get what I was looking for. Maybe it's just I need to work on that. I would say it was more of an earth, going from cream to earth. Now it's kind of just going back to a nice, like, cream. Um, maybe it'll define back to the cream coffee. I'm just getting, like, a creamy taste, nice and smooth. Um, I mean... At this point, I think some cigars, get a little closer, some cigars could be harsh at this point. This is still a nice, smooth, creamy um, stick, which is really awesome. And goes back to Cody's earlier point of, this is a good stick to, to try for your first time. Um, there's not much harshness to it, to either stick, um, which, is, which is really good. It's, you don't want to give someone a stick that could ruin uh, that person's first experience. You know, you want to start them off uh, real easy and they can grow into what they like. As far as burns go, neither of us had had to touch up these yeah. cigars. Yeah. It is by no means or razor sharp or perfectly straight, but I haven't had to touch it up. There's been no canoeing, no tunneling, anything like that. Just a really, really good burn on both these sticks. Again, good for a beginner. That way a beginner doesn't have to fight with the, the stick, you know? I think I, I had a stick uh, a couple weeks ago and I had to nurse it, baby it back to a nice smokable uh, time. This cigar, uh, it was really, really loosely packed, which is not a bad thing. Um, they made it work. As far as I've had some cigars that were packed loose that I had to touch them up every five minutes because they weren't, the pack was loose, but it wasn't even. Um, this one, on the other hand, is very consistent very consistently packed even though it's loose um, and it makes it again very easy to smoke uh, very easy to draw on just overall just the probably the perfect beginner stick honestly I don't think y'all heard me on that took a took a draw and Got a got like a nut kind of taste, but then to another draw, and it came kind of like a wood. I, some of you watching this might go, that that's kind of very different. But again, I'm working on my palate and knowing on how the review says it goes creamy to, to cedar. I kind of kind of got a, a wood vibe. Could be the cedar. Uh, off the draw, which I think is kind of late to be picking up. This cigar starting to get that burnt taste. Um, not, it, it's not burning hot or anything. I'm just getting that kind of burnt flavor. So I'm gonna go over what I have as far as the finishing notes that I picked up. Um, so it went from the cream uh, back to an earth, like a musty earth. 
and a like sweet hay. Um, I was telling George, my grandfather has goats and he feeds them grain. It's kind of, that, that grain has like a sweet smell to it. And in my mind and, and from my experience, we put the, the sweet grain and hay together and it's a sweet kind of hay note um, that I picked up on. Um, not picking up on any other new notes or anything like that, just kind of getting to the end here and, and, and getting to that burnt flavor. I think overall, I'm gonna give the cigar a rating uh, out of 10. Overall, I'd give it like a 6.5. Uh, not even close to the best cigar I've ever smoked, but a very solid stick and a stick that I would put in somebody's hand that isn't very experienced with cigars. Um, I'm kind of getting close to where Cody is. Oh, yeah. Getting uh definitely burnt. Getting getting to that like, very warm when you when you draw on it, it's getting a little warm on it. Um, for me personally, I, I, I kind of power through it just to, to finish off the stick. <clears throat> for me, I've had it before. This stick uh, definitely would rate higher than when the first time I had it. Probably in the neighborhood. A little higher than Cody. Uh, not to like be judgmental or like, you know, just anything. But out of 10, I'd probably get like a six, seven, six, eight. Um, again, I've had this before. I've also had with Cody smoke. And this one I think is better when Cody tries it. I think he'll like it. Um, again, nice mild went. It started off real, had that dark, that dark hit. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get any more defined, but then it went creamy, like coffee. And uh, stayed kind of creamy. Then I, I got that, um, grabbed the wheel, kind of earthy. Possibly could have been that uh, a cedar. Then it went back creamy, and then I got that cedar hit again. So, and those are the two uh, big notes that came up in reviews on it. Um, so yeah, I, I probably would lean towards a six eight on this six eight. Definitely would give it to a first timer um, if they're okay with the size. Churchill kind of can be a little scary for first timers, but first timer definitely would give it to them. And uh, overall, great, great smoke, good sampler pack. Uh, uh, like put it in a sampler pack, give cigar too. So I think, uh, you know, to wrap this video up, neither of these cigars are gonna knock your socks off. Um, nothing crazy. It's, it's not gonna put you on your butt with all the nicotine. Both very, very light cigars. Um, just perfect cigars to give an amateur smoker to get them into the hobby. I um, think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Appreciate y'all sticking with it. Wait until the end. As always, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, put it on your Facebook page, uh, tweet it out, follow the Bearded Gentleman on Twitter, uh, tweet out every time a new video gets posted. Um, Want to see more of me? Yeah. yeah. You, you could uh, go follow George on Twitter. I think the Bearded Gentleman follows him, uh, has tagged him. Um, always a pleasure when Cody invites me to come smoke. If you'd like to see more of me, uh, you know, we, we, we do smoke regularly and I think our palates are very nicely and we have different palates. Mine's developed and his is already pretty much developed. And uh, I think we work well when smoking together. So you want to see more of me, comment below. If you don't, comment below. This is Cody's page as a bearded gentleman, even though I'm trying to grow my beard out a little. Yeah, so. unfortunately I'm not allowed to have one, but we're going to leave the name of the page the same until... Uh, I think it's something else clever or somebody comments something clever. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, but thanks for watching. And as always, I am the Bearded Gentleman.